So guys, I have a story for you. So I was putting away a whole bunch of makeup because typically what happens after I film something is all the makeup ends up on the floor. So I was trying to be organized and like put it all away. And so I was going through the drawer and I noticed a rogue lid. And there's nothing worse than seeing said lid and knowing that it's a lipstick lid. And not just any lipstick, one of those like chubby pencil kind of a lipstick thing. So I have no idea where this lipstick is and I'm like taking out all of my makeup out of there like I'm playing Operation and I'm trying to put it away and I'm trying to find this pencil and I still can't find it guys. So now I've gone from being panicked that I have lipstick somewhere that's getting all over everything to being sad that I have a lipstick somewhere that's dried up and no longer useful. It'll be just my luck because I'll find it smeared all over everything and also dried up because that's how life works. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a new YouTube Made Me Buy It video. I love doing these because when I do get a chance to sit down and binge watch a whole bunch of beauty YouTube videos, I always come away with a shopping list of things that I am so excited to try out. Sometimes I'll fall down the rabbit hole and I'll end up watching, you know, like animal videos. But I mean, I feel like that's everyone's experience watching YouTube videos. Don't you start out watching something and you always end up with animals? Usually puppies, but sometimes it's like little possums or something. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. So I have a whole bunch of products here that I want to share with you guys and um, maybe I'll do something like this every season or something like that. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up so I know and if you have any requests for videos, we'll leave them down in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So first of all, I want to talk about the highlight that I'm currently wearing on my face and it is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and currently I am wearing Moonlight but I also have Celestial. And uh, is it Celestial? Did I just make that up? I don't actually know. It is Celestial. Good for me. Look at that packaging dough. This is what happens when you keep your makeup in your drawers. It gets destroyed. I think I found out about these from Tati. I was watching one of her videos and she was talking about how amazing they were. So I went out and I bought two of them and I am in love with them. There are so many different ways to utilize these products. One is just using it as a liquid highlight and just kind of, um, I use it like a beauty blender and I'll tap it in and then I'll set it with another like powder highlight on top if I really wanna like bling it up. Or what I'll do is I'll mix it in with my primer or with my foundation just to give an overall dewiness and a little bit goes a long way with this. I'm sure you guys have seen all of the swatches on these but I need to do it again because I love it. Like okay, look at this. This is one little, one little drop, boop. And we're gonna take that little drop, bam. Look at that, people. I just want this like tattooed on my arm. It's not thick in any way. It's very smooth and easy to blend into any product. I find that it works well with pretty much everything that I've tried it with. And it stays put, it stays super glossy and shiny and just looking gorgeous all day. It's not glittery in any way. It's very, very metallic, but overall, definite win. I'm in love with this product. Next up is a blush, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, Luminoso? Lumina, it's Luminoso, right? And I believe I heard about these watching Katie from Luster Lux, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. A, a lot of people talk about this particular shade and these blushes in general as just being beautiful, but like a little bit goes a long way. I remember taking my blush brush and putting it on just like, <laughs> there's like swirling it in there. And then I put it on my face and I was like, oh no. Now I'm a clown. But the shade is super pretty, very flattering, and just a nice drugstore find. Next up is an eyeliner, and I feel like I talked about this in my last three videos or something. I keep reaching for this because I'm obsessed. And it's the um, Marc Jacobs Highliner. It's their matte eyeliner in the shade Earthquake. It is such a nice eyeliner. I think I heard about these from Kathleen Lights when I was watching her videos. They're super creamy, really matte, easy to blend out. They stay on the tight line really, really nicely. Very rich and pigmented, and but they don't like melt down off of your face by the end of the day, which is what usually happens with anything that I put on the tight line. But this one does not at all. The only downside to this is that I can't use it for anything other than the tight line or kind of to use as something to smudge along the lash line because you can't really use a, a sharpener for this. It twists up, um, so it does get very like flat and stubby on the top, um, unfortunately. So that's just something that I have noticed with, with using this particular product. But other than that, I love this eyeliner. It's an expensive one, but one that I continually go for and I love it. Next up is a foundation, and I don't remember who was talking about it, but I remember watching it on YouTube, and it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. And for those of you asking, yes, that is my shade. That is my shade without any self-tanner on. So you can see, currently wearing 
lots of self tanner. This is in the shade porcelain and I was specifically looking for something to wear when I am on the paler side when I'm not wearing any self tanner um, and this one works really really well. It is a full coverage foundation that apparently like according to the website anyway is 20% water so it's going to hydrate your skin if it's experiencing any sort of dryness but without adding any oiliness to the skin which is what I was looking for. It has that sort of dropper like um, applicator so you can customize how much you want to add to it. But I really like this one when I am on the paler side because for whatever reason, whatever's in this formula, it doesn't make me look really washed out and very sick. Some foundations, if I use them, I look really cakey and really ill and it just, it just doesn't look very flattering. This one still makes me look very radiant and well rested, but still matches my color. So I really like it for that purpose too. So for those of you out there that are more on the pale side, I highly recommend checking this out. Now onto another foundation. This is a drugstore foundation. I don't remember who was talking about it. I think Jaclyn Hill, maybe? I don't really remember, but it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Such a beautiful foundation. I have mentioned it in a favorites before. It is one of those foundations that just every time I wear it, it always looks really, really flattering and it's glowy without being glittery. It's full coverage without being cakey. It blends in nicely with whatever primer I'm using, whatever powder I'm using. It's just really multi-purpose. It says on here that it is hydrating for normal to dry skin. I don't find it to be really heavy in any way. I have more on the normal combination side of skin um, texture and type, but it, it doesn't seem to be too much for my skin. I find with really like dry skin formulas, it just feels like I have like just like mud on my skin and this is not like that at all. It's one of my go-to drugstore foundations. Really love this one. Now onto another high-end foundation and this one was actually sent to me as a press sample but I remember trying it out and testing it out and I was like this is fine I guess. I don't really get it but it's fine and then I saw like 10 different YouTubers talking about how much they were obsessed with this and I was like well, this clearly needs some more work because I'm not using it right. And then and then I put more product on, which was my issue, and I loved it. And it is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I remember when I was first testing it out, I think I did like a five first impressions on it. I was using it according to the directions on the website, which was like, just use a little bit, like a swipe on each cheek, blend it out. Like this is loaded with pigmentation. You don't want to go overboard. And I was like, okay. So I was like putting just a tiny bit on and I was like, it's fine, but it's not like, not like out of this world, crazy amazing. So then I was watching a couple of YouTubers talk about how much they loved this product and how they were using it is they were using like two or three strokes of it on the cheeks and then like two on the forehead, around the nose. Like they were using way more of the product than I was. So then I tried it that way and whoa, what a difference. If you are looking for something that is high coverage without feeling like high coverage on the skin, this is amazing. I love this product. It is very expensive, especially since it's a stick foundation. I feel like you don't get as much product as you do with like a liquid foundation, but I love the fact that it's so easy to kind of put on the skin. It's easy for travel. It does not dry out for me too, which was another thing that I was worried about. It has not dried out for me at all. And I just keep going back to this as something that I know is going to work with my skin. It's always going to make me look flawless and it's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. So I guess technically YouTube didn't make me buy it, but they did make me use it again. And then I fell in love with it. So kind of kind of counts. Next up is a highlight palette and this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their glow kit. This is in, which one is this? I bought, I bought like three of them. This is in Gleam. There is one I believe that's sold through Sephora. The rest are on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. And just a heads up to all you Canadian girls out there, you get dinged for duties and taxes and like import fees when you like have these. So <laughs> just warning y'all. But the shades though, Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. If I had to pick one that was my favorite, it would probably be the Sweets palette. Um, this is just <laughs> closest by, so I picked it up. But I think that one's my favorite because these shades are a little bit more on the metallic side and in that they are much more luminous on the skin and much more noticeable, and I love that. I believe you can use them wet or dry as well, so I'll use them on the cheekbones, I'll use them on the lids. There's a purple one as well as a really light like champagne white and then a copper and a bronze. I should really find it versus trying to explain it. Isn't that what YouTube is all about? Showing you the product? So here it is and these colors I love because they were the most versatile of all the different ones that I tried. Just like very shimmery, very light. Not shimmery, shimmery is not the right word. It's more metallic. They have so many different palettes out. They have the one that they did um, with Nicole Guerrero. Like 
Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get my hands on that, but it's always sold out, so I'm excited to also get that one. Um, they have some beautiful, beautiful formulas, and I really enjoy them. What just happened? Did I just take a picture while filming? I didn't even know you could do that. That's fun. I still don't know how I did that, but that's, that's cool. It's fine. Whatever. Now on to my go-to self-tanner, and I think I learned about this from Lauren Curtis, and it is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. This is in the shade Medium. This is the only self-tanner I will ever use. I'm in love with this stuff. It is so incredibly um, strong, which is why I use Medium, because dark, it just does not look natural at all. It has an instant bronzer in it, so you immediately look super, super tan. Um, I use the two hour one as well as the six hour one. I The only downside is when I use the six hour one, I forget that I, that I put it on and then I'll go to sleep. And then my pillow gets completely discolored. I have to wash it, it's just a big process. <laughs> and of course my sheets are white, so that that's always fun. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to rinse off the guide color after the designated amount of time that you wear it. Um, I haven't had any issues though just wearing it with the guide color unless there's gonna be water involved because then you will notice like streakiness on your skin just as a heads up. But you get a beautiful golden complexion. It's not too orange, it's not too green toned, and there's no scent to it either which is what I really love. I purchased one and then the wonderful people at Loving Tan sent me some press packages and stuff so I have like a big stock of them now. But an amazing self tanner, really recommend it and I have had a lot of success with it. Okay. Two more products. One is a face mask, and I feel like every YouTuber uses this. A lot on Snapchat, that seems to be like the go-to place for this particular mask. And it's the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. And I bought this and I was really excited to use it because you see it all over Snapchat and everyone peels it off and it just looks so awesome. So I was really excited to put this on my face. Plus it's silver, which looks really, really cool. I believe it was Desi that I was watching um, that was using this and that's where I, I immediately went out and purchased it because our skin is gorgeous. But it really does do what it says it's going to do. So I'll use it before a big event or a big day out or something like that. And it really does just make your skin look flawless, which makes all of your makeup go on flawless and it's just a really nice mask plus peeling it off is the best and not on that like a blackhead mask thing and you know you see those all over Facebook and it just looks like people are like they're crying taking off your mask I'm like nothing is worth that but it just peels off really easily and really nicely and it makes my skin feel really great and I just overall really enjoy this mask it's so expensive so I probably only use this mask like once a week or like on like certain occasions only um, because I'm trying to save it, trying to hold on to it for like special events only. And then I started like categorizing which event. I'm like, is this special enough to use the mask? I don't know. But I do really enjoy it and I get great results from it. And so yeah, really good mask. And next I guess you could categorize as a brush cleaner. It is the Color Switch. Um, this is from Sephora and I saw this in a haul from Casey Holmes. And basically what you can do is it's really great for just dusting off any excess color from your brushes before you dip it into a different color so you don't have to like just clean every brush every single time you need to use it. You can just dust off the excess color. It takes it off really, really easily. There's going to be no residue left. So if you want to go from a dark color to a light color, you can um, with this product. And I've been using it a lot. And ever since I talked about it, I talked about it in another video ages ago. And you guys were like, you could just use one of those like little um, hair hair <laughs> hairball things. You know what I'm talking about. You know those like net things that you put in your hair to like make it like a big bun. Anyway, you could totally do that instead. I just find like I reach for this a lot and it's very, very easy to clean. You can just kind of flip over this sponge and use the other side if you want. But yeah, this product has worked really, really well for me and I really enjoy it. And that's everything for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more of these types of videos, these kind of tag type videos. Maybe we'll do like a, like a disappointing products video next or something like that. So if you guys have any requests, again, leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.